super early, early in the morning. I'm not a morning person at all. I'm in LA, in my hotel, going to meet my friend B. Schaffer, who is a very early morning person and a super busy girl. She's the daughter of Anna Wintour. She grew up in the fashion industry but she, you know, sort of opted out and is doing her own thing. So we're gonna have super early breakfast conversation. Early morning breakfast with you. <laughs> First time we really met each other was at breakfast. The Daily one thing business. I inherited from my mom is I really like to go to bed early. You do, like and wake she, up early. And wake up early. Like, she goes to bed at 10 and wakes up at 5. I go to bed at 11 and wake up at 6. I feel people feel like they're kind of superior if they get up early. You just feel like you're a better person if you do. Right? Depends on how good of night you had the night before. <laughs> oh, we're very different people so, about so. that, too. <laughs> I'm very punctual. It's sort of how I was raised. But I don't understand people who are late. Like, it's... <laughs> It's so easy to be on time. You just allot enough time for things. It's... But when you moved here and you didn't mm -hmm. know the lay of the land and then you also did not really know how to drive. No, 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 I would leave an hour and a half to get anywhere. And then... It didn't matter where it was. So yeah, I'd be like an hour early for a lot of things. I want to talk about your Met Gala dresses. I have a 2004 picture that's pretty funny. That was the first You're year I went. Shoe. I w my feet were killing me. Okay. This was Anglomania. Okay, I like that dress a lot. I did too. Who made that that's dress? Chanel. This night, I love that dress, but I had a Latin American history exam <laughs> the next morning at 9 a.m. So I went to bed early that night. The guy I was sitting next to was like, can you like test me? I love that dress, but no one could get near me. I had to go in a car alone. I felt really bad for my date. <laughs> he couldn't even hold my hand. He got lost He really did. Like that might be one of my favorites. Nina went to two years in a row. Three years in a row. I wore Olivier five times. Alexander McQueen, Savage Beauty. Yeah, that's Balenciaga. I really love that dress. That was That's like great. sexy vamp look. And you cut your hair. Right? I would actually say last year's was my favorite. This is as punk as you will ever get, apparently. <laughs> and you're still I wearing a best, tiara. I, I had black nails. I thought that was so beautiful. and It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I would never thought I was going to work in fashion. It never occurred to me. I thought I wanted to be in journalism. My grandfather was an editor, and my uncle is an editor. Obviously, my mom is an editor. People think of my mom as just like fashion, but it's also journalism as well. So I did a bunch of internships. Every time I'd worked at a magazine, it had been in entertainment. And then I realized I loved that, and that's what I ended up doing. You work in television. Yes. But you also a massive theater geek since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Did you ever want to be an actress? Yes. You did? I did. I asked my mom to sign me up for acting classes when I was, I think, eight years old. But she accidentally signed me up for voice classes instead. And I can't sing. We had a final performance, and I sang Where is Love from Oliver. And my mom goes, well, it was a tough song. <laughs> and I realized after that it wasn't in the cards. I, I also have terrible stage fright, and okay. I don't like being in front of people. Growing up in New York yeah. and going to college in New York, yeah. and then you come out to LA. What's the adjustment like and? Oh, it was horrible. For the first six months, it was very lonely. Found driving pretty easy, pretty quickly, but I didn't know how to park. People would invite me to their house, and I wouldn't go because I would be so scared to have to park. It sounds so silly, but if it's something you don't know how to do, I'm not very like optimistic or sunny or LA or I, I would never do yoga and I hate it when people talk about energy or they're Soul psychic. So, but I did get into the green juice. Oh. My mom gave me a lot of crap about it though. She was like, you're so LA with your kale. And now she's always emailing me and she's like, how's the kale? If I could move everyone from New York here, I 100% yeah. would. Halloween brought us together and has been the glue that solidified our love. <laughs> so we met um, doing Beetlejuice because yes. you helped me get a suit. Next year we went out together. Yes, and, and you were Cruella DeVille. I was Cruella DeVille. DeVille and you were a goth Dalmatian. No, a punk rock. Sorry, a punk rock Dalmatian. Dalmatian. And then we did um, Carl and Coco. Last year I was Wednesday Adams. And we have to think of one for, for this, this year. Uh, it's apparently Frida Kahlo <laughs> and I'll be like Picasso or something. I've never been very fashion forward. I'm not that interested in fashion. I'm 5'5 five five and have huge like, boobs. Like, I'm to not going to wear yeah. the same thing as Carly Floss. I kind of wear the same thing all the time, or it's so cliche to say it, but like jeans and t-shirts. Was yeah. there a moment that you realized that your mother was like larger than life? 
to other people. It was interesting when Devil Wears Prada came out. She became more famous because of the film. People will say things like, there's, "She's very there's, cold." Everyone has an opinion. I mean, is that hard for you? As as I her? mean, I know that she is the most generous person you will ever meet. It's crazy. She puts everyone before herself always. So I know that's who she is, and I also know that, like I said, she's efficient and. She gets bored easily, and she just wants things to get done. So, she's a boss. I mean, like it's not a yeah. bad thing to like ask people to do things. No. But um, she came to my badminton games. Like she was. <laughs> she's always been. She's your mom. Yeah. For more breakfast with Bevan, tune into the Teen Vogue channel. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get inside B Shopper's mind? Check out the playlist. <laughs>